Today we're gonna tie a crab. The hook I'm using for this crab is this one, Partridge of Redditch, size 4. Take out the hook, place it in the jaws. Take my tying thread, get on some thread. And this hook is it gonna ride point up, so I have to place a little dumbbell eyes on this and well sorry about that. some cross wrappings the thread I'm tying today is is a simple fly wax, wax thread and I'm going to use some super glue on this one to make it stick like this some wrappings to make the make it stick okay now I'm gonna tie in some claws this is some chenil claws I made I tied them so it fits in size and point it upwards like a claw should be this was the one side and I have to take another side as well measure out get the same length okay this was about the same length okay wrap wrap it on tightly so it don't fall off now I'm gonna take my ice this is burnt mono ice made it some minutes ago and I point it up like this try to The way I tie this, make this eyes, you can adjust the length by pulling on this when it, if it's too long. And this was one side, I take the an another, another side, the other side, sorry, <laughs> just get it on there like this try to it's a bit too long so If you're a careful guy like I am, then you put on some more super glue to make it stick. Okay, and I wrap over this thing. 
okay now you can see how it looks so far now I'm gonna take the first bundle of well I just have to well, take out some super glue there have been a lot of it sorry about that I smacked in my camera like I used to do well there's no folk out of focus no the focus is right okay then I take my first bundle Place it on top. It's, it's um, important not to take these bundles too long. The first time I did this was I take too long bundles and inf interfered with the rubber legs I'm gonna put on now because the rubber lugs is gonna be quite as long now I just wrap it around the thread and the way I this way I can place it just where I want it and some cross wrappings here and it's much easier to manipulate it when you have long have longer legs place the one in the material clip on the vise on my Stoneford transformer there you have it try to get not get so much super glue on my on my hands well this was one part of rubber legs and I take one more clump with fiber this is a fiber called uh, Congo hair is from uh, fly ties dungeon and it is very similar to uh, EP fibers I try to make the wrapping as close as the other I can so I make put it across the thread just place the bundle where I want it and divide it like this just wrap it on and turn it like this and try to put it pull it together now I ch think I take this hook is too long so I take another bundle before I take one more legs and, uh, this is the another bundle of Congo here sorry cross wrapped it and just prepare for one set of rubber legs same length as the other not short log you don't want short legs on this one
same procedure I tied it around the thread pull on it and place the legs in the material clip just to get it away I take another bundle over here well what about that one of the legs has lost in try to pack it if you can squeeze it together well now it's time for the third pair of rubber legs I think one two yes and take the third pair of rubber legs make it quite long so it will stick to the material clip well I got these legs today. Is uh, this is a kind of uh, what do you call it? This type crystal tech from Korea. This is uh, one hell of a leg. Sturdy, almost unbreakable. For very very strong stuff. Well, now it's time for the second bundles. Just try to put it out on this manner. Well, it's all worked all right. It's hard to not get it not to inflect with another well I take the third the last bundle of Congo here I try to make it on the middle like this and try to divide it like the previous well some wrappings here and there <laughs> well now there are some we finish to do and now I have to cut off my thread and losing all the legs and place this little baby upside down one two three four five six legs okay that was nice you have this little fly post the water mark may call it it's a bit heavy so it uh, will keep the legs down while I manipulate the fiber and uh, well take all the fibers outwards and try to get it all with me um, some has 
been stuck with the legs so I have to try to get it all up there so it won't stay with the legs Fly, maybe try to there are some difficulties here some rubber legs are not cooperating here it's not on my side they shall be and I attach it again and try to now it looks more better well well look about that I try to make the camera a bit so you can see what I'm doing here, doing here. well as you see I'm not calmed it all out and I use my scissors and try to make a little round crab body this was one side and I'll try to have to stand up a little bit Oh no. Try not to cut my finger. There you have it. Maybe some more adjustment on the length. about right well now have to place it this way and I try to make the picture go the right way now there you have it okay now I take the rubber legs and pull it down so it sticks in the side of the the body here when I cut cut them in length like this and like that can if you want manipulate it more you can really tug on this I see now maybe I can adjust the length of the body here a little bit so I do that while I'm still at it just try to get the legs from this side get it down and adjust the length the same length both sides try to just take out some stragglers here and there and the crab is done 
you can also color it if you want but I think this color is very good it's a it's a blend from Congo here so this is very nice I think it will certainly catch fish and the claws and I try to manipulate this little thing the right way I almost forgot <laughs> it shall, shall pull fish hook up so this is the right way if you try to see it This is a little effective crab that will catch fish in every kind of water that has crabs. So that's what's all for now. And uh, thank you all for watching my videos and welcome back to the next. Take care now and bye bye then.